Hi everyone, this is Dina from dinaclimbing.com. Today I am at the beautiful Dana Point Harbor. You can see the boats behind me. And I have brought here a meteorite. And check this one out. Can you guess what this one is? This is a fossilized bear tooth. I have some real bear tooths as well, or bear teeth as well. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll share them in another video, but today I just brought this fossilized one. What fossilized means is we have organic matter that crystallizes. So basically it is, um, it turns into a stone. So the original, um, shall we say tooth is no longer present. Uh, what happened is it fossilized and it became a stone. This one I bought at a show. I go pretty much every year to the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show and hopefully I'll go this year and if I go I'll have some cool videos coming your way. Uh, but I go every year and so imagine this. Imagine a hotel uh, where every room suddenly becomes a store. You take out the bed or maybe you don't take out the bed, maybe you sleep in it, and you bring all your stuff that you have to sell, and you sell it in your room, or rooms. And you have many, many hotels like that. Plus, you have uh, many um, tents that go up, where people bring bigger items, and uh, bring lots and lots of crystals, and lots and lots of fossils. So that's Tucson. If you ever get a chance to go, I highly recommend. So this I bought there. Uh, at, uh, at a hotel that specialized in fossils. So people from all over the world came with their fossils and, oops, and they um, would sell them. So um, this was a guy, I think this was a guy somewhere from uh, the south of the US, he had it. The story that he told me about it was this, it was found in Romania and he thinks it's about 100 million years old. The reason they know the age is because the site where they found it, uh, they dated uh, other things that were in that site. And so he said, since this was found there, it's probably around that time. Uh, I am just repeating what he's saying. I have uh, no way, at least right now, to, to validate how old it is, but it doesn't really matter. It's still really neat. It used to belong to a female bear. The reason we know it's female is because it's small. And you can kind of see <laughs> what, what small is. It's, uh, it's pretty big. You know, here's, uh, here's my hand, right? So it's pretty big, but for as far as uh, prehistoric bears go, and probably as far as uh, real bears go, it's a female, smaller uh, tooth. Um, you can see they did have to fix it a little bit. It had, it had a few cracks, but it's okay. It does not, um, does not change the energy of it, at least for me. How I use it. So fossils or any material that used to be organic, uh, for example, a coral, um, a piece of a coral, uh, or um, a piece of wood, um, anything that came uh, from the earth, um, that used to be alive or be a part of a creature, uh, it is very grounding. It has a very strong connection energetically to the earth. So it is very calming, it is very peaceful. Um, it is very good for meditation because a lot of times we can't meditate not because we don't know how to meditate, not because our chakra, our seventh chakra is closed and we can't connect to the divine, a lot of times we can't meditate because we're not grounded. We just can't sit still. We can't quiet our mind. And also when we're ungrounded, nature doesn't allow us to meditate very deeply because we could easily go crazy. You know, we could just leave our bodies, go somewhere and never come back. So being grounded is very important. So a fossil is very nice grounding tool. The way to use it is to simply hold it. And the sun is really nice to hold. You see how it fits in my hand? And so I'll hold it. Sometimes I'll hold it in my right hand. Sometimes I'll hold it in my left hand. And generally, I'll hold it in my right hand. 
uh, and then I'll focus on it and I'll focus on my energy connecting with its energy and its energy connecting with the energy of the earth. I'll take a few deep breaths and I'll just let go and, and see what happens. So that's this. Now also when we do certain different shamanic practices we often work with animal spirits. So having a fossil of a bear tooth uh, is a tool that allows us to connect with the spirit of the bear. And if you're curious what the spirit of the bear is, you can just Google it, Google a totem bear, animal spirit, something like that, and you'll see a lot of things come up. Um, but yeah, sometimes I do want to invoke the energy of the bear, and in that case, I, I will have either this one or an actual bear tooth. I'll have that one on me. All right, and here, this one, here, that's a meteorite. This is a meteorite from Russia. How can you tell if it's a meteorite? Well, it's kind of hard to see here, but you see, let me, let me set this down so my hand isn't shaking. Um, Maybe further away is better. You see how it looks melted? So this thing is pretty heavy. It's got a lot of nickel in it. It's a lot of metal in it. So it basically looks like a melted blob of metal. And that's what a lot of meteorites are. There are some meteorites that are not metal. I have a little meteorite that actually uh, looks like uh, just a piece of rock. But most meteorites you find, they're going to have a lot of nickel in them. So this one too, I bought in Tucson at a gem and mineral show. Also, um, I think actually in the same hotel where I bought this tooth, uh, where they sell fossils. Um, they also have uh, several nice big rooms with uh, guys mainly from Russia bringing meteorites. So these, this is uh, a meteorite. Meteorite is very has very high vibrational energy. So when I pick it up, I kind of want to go move like that. You know, I feel it vibrating very, very, very fast. And I find its energy uh, very invigorating. So sometimes if I'm kind of sluggish, or don't have a lot of energy and I need to get work done, maybe I need to, I don't know, sit down at the computer and I, all I want to do is sleep uh, or, um, I want to do, I don't know, some business stuff and I don't have the energy for it, um, I'll, I'll take a meteorite. I also have several little meteorite necklaces. I'll show you my jewelry another time. I have a lot of cool jewelry that I wear specifically for healing purposes and uh, specifically for their energetic prop, uh, properties. Um, but this one, a meteorite, it kind of wakes me up, uh, clears my head a little bit, and if I were to meditate with it, then I would, um, my meditation would generally take me up up into the sky so if I wanted to talk to my stellar guides guides that don't come from the earth but guides that come from the stars or uh, a lot of people they're interested in uh, what star system did I come from uh, where is uh, my soul's home meteorite is a really good one to do that with um, I was at a show once uh, and another show and um, I had another meteorite with me. And uh, they were, uh, in that show, there were a lot of crystals and also there were a lot of people who uh, do energy work. So I had this crystal uh, that I kind of liked. I thought it was a, a pretty neat, I'm sorry, not a crystal. I had a meteorite. Um, I liked that one. That one also came from Russia. Uh, I had it in my pocket. So I shared it with one of the energy workers there. So this woman took it in her hand, and all of a sudden she started crying. I said, oh, what's the matter? She says, oh, wow, I see there is so much pain and suffering in this meteorite. She says, I see that this meteorite must have gone through uh, some either planets or some through some star systems where there was a lot of suffering, where there was a war. And it picked up that energy, and now I can feel it. And I thought that was an interesting story because I didn't feel that. I actually liked it. To me, 
uh, that as all meteorites, it was like, it was like holding a rocket ship in your hand. It was just like, let's go and travel and have fun. And so I wondered, I wondered why is she getting uh, that particular story where I'm getting another story. And uh, so I meditated on it. And the reason was, uh, that was the type of energy she was tuning in to. She was probably going through uh, some hard time in her life. She was probably processing her shadow uh, or uh, processing maybe some trauma that she had or trauma in the past lives that she had or something family. And so that was the energy that she was floating in. And that was what that meteorite told her. It's not untrue. It's just, it probably did carry that story. And since she was resonating at that particular vibration, that's the story that she read. But I, at least at that time, was in a really happy place. Uh, I, um, I had done shadow work. I, I know what it's like. Um, shadow work, inner child work, all of they're all very hard stuff. Um, lots of tears, uh, lots of pain, but they're worth it once you get through it. Life does get much better. Uh, and so at that particular time in my life, uh, I was working on finding joy. I was working on finding happiness, on increasing my energy, uh, kind of being more in the flow. And that's why that meteorite revealed to me something else. So it's not like I was wrong or she was wrong. It's just that we were vibrating in different places. And so the crystal communicated to us in a different way. All right, well, I hope you liked the story of this meteorite and this fossilized bear tooth. I have lots more, so come back and check out my website at dinaclyman.com. Bye.